Hi everyone. Let's see. I think I have it. Good evening. Thanks for signing in and listening and watching uh, me during this Facebook Live. Today's Simple Sunday and I'm Anissa and I'm with Stampin' with Anissa. Um, I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and yeah, today's Simple Sunday. End of the week. I kind of figured it's a great time to relax, wind down before you start the new week. And today was Father's Day, so hopefully you got to spend time with um, you're a special person, um, and, you know, dads take them out to lunch, do a bunch of stuff with them. I went to lunch with my dad, and my mom, we had a great time, my husband's with the kids, so it was a great day today, um, and great weather too. It wasn't as hot as it was, uh, the past couple of days, right? So, anyways, um, today I wanted to go over um this card that i made it's a simple card it's um it's a happy birthday oh, let me see happy birthday card and we used um spiral die stamp set and the happiest of birthdays stamp set so i don't know i really like it it's sort of crazy and it's got a nice wow factor to it when you look at it so Anyways, I wanted to create that it's really easy and very simple to make. You need to make a quick card. I think this is this is something that um, you could do. So, without further ado, let me go ahead and get myself set up here and and uh, move this the camera around. Okay, so hang tight. Let's do this. Sorry. This is complicated. Oops. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay. Let's see what this looks like. Um Okay, let's take this off and hopefully you all could see. Sorry, it's taking a while on my, it's delayed. Let's take this off and hopefully, okay, great. Okay, everyone. So here's a stamp set. So to make this card, I use two stamp sets, but I mean, really, it's super, it's super easy to do. You know, you got to be a little, using, yeah, you're, you're, there's not much to do. There's stamp sets that we're going to use in, and one die. Um, so here's the two stamp sets. Uh, the spiral die, and then the happiest of birthdays. We're using this little, little one here. I don't know if you could see that, but that little one, and then this big one. Okay, so let's see here. Let's start by taking this, this is a big Mondo huge thing. Now, I love this. This is a Stamparatus, and this is why I joined Stamparatus. This is why I joined Stampin' Up! because of this contraption here. I just, I love it. Um, I think it's, I think it's pretty cool. It allows you to do, you know, to, to make cards quickly. I don't know, I just, I just love this. You'll see what I'm talking about. I can't explain it, but, um, okay, let me put this here. So I put this down like this. And it comes with multiple plates so that you can, um, you know, if you're using one and maybe you want to do it, there's like another stamp set that you want to put on top, right, or add to the, to the card that you're making or the project you're making, you don't have to 
pull it off every time you could put one on the other place like so it looks like here's another here's the other one and you can put it here right and then you have another stamp set here and you can put it down I don't know I just I think it's so cool <laughs> I love it but then again I like gadgets so yeah I really like gadgets so when you use the Stamparatus it comes with magnets okay make sure these magnets aren't close to each other because if they go together and they snap um some people have hurt themselves sometimes these magnets shatter i've heard it's never happened to me it did they did come together really fast and um i had a hard time taking them um getting them apart okay so yeah that wasn't fun okay so i usually put it in the corner like this and then the sticky side of the stamp goes on the plate, right? And I take the paper. Okay, I'll make sure. Yeah, this is enough. So you take the paper and then you use the magnets to hold it down. Now really this, I mean, you could use the magnet right here, but look, it's really, the stamp is very large so I think it's gonna yeah I think this is good enough okay so now the colors on the card are um, the balmy balmy blue and night of navy so we're gonna do uh, the balmy blue first okay I just did the lighter one first just because I figured the I mean, you could do it any way you want. I decided to do the light color um, first, so go ahead and you stamp on the pad. You stamp the pad on, put the pad on the stamp, <laughs> and then make sure, like, try not to. I'm not like, you can see, like, there's some parts that aren't getting the ink. Okay, close this up because if I don't, I'm going to put my hand in it and that's not going to be good. Okay, Ooh, my hair's here. So go ahead and push it down. I'm telling you, this is so cool. Yeah, um, oh, see, see right here? It didn't, it didn't take the color. And, oh, maybe if I, see, I noticed that there's some color here. Maybe I didn't press down on it. So, let me put it back. Oh, much better. Great. I only had to press it once. Yeah, I was on a cruise a couple of years ago. It was my parents' 50th wedding anniversary. And so we treated them to um, uh, a cruise, Alaska cruise, and that was the incentive trip for um, stamping up people. And so um, they were on the ship and on the ship, if you've ever been on a cruise, the um, there's one channel, I guess, that's devoted to, you know, if there's a company that's on there. And so Stampin' Up! had one channel and it was showing their product and then announcing who, you know, like who titled or like the number um, I can't explain it, but like whoever titled, not titled, you know, what, like what ranking they were in a particular title. That's what it was. And so I was watching that one evening when it was time to go to bed. And then I saw this stamp at it. And I thought that was the coolest thing. And so when I got to mainland, I immediately look for the website because when you're out you see, right, you can't use the internet. Yeah, you can't use the internet. So you, I, th that's why when I got home, I had to go and take a look. And then from then on, I, I did one class, found my upline, and then did a class and I fell in love. So, and here I am. Okay, so now after I cleaned it off with my little chamois, I'm going to, I'm going to flip it like this okay and I'm gonna 
put it here like so. I wiped it down so that there's no color on it. And now I'm gonna pick it up. Okay, and then I'm gonna take the, oh, I thought I used my, I'm sorry, I didn't use my, I used the um, Misty Moonlight, that's what I used. I'm sorry. Getting all confused, so this is, Misty Moonlight. Go ahead and take the pad onto the stamp. Make sure you get it fully covered, right? Nice. Close it back up because I will put my hand in it. Now, just go ahead and press it down. This in a lot of color. So, like this. Ugh. I'm gonna have to go and do this again. You know, that's when, I think it's really nice if you can have these little, so Stampin' Up! has these little, cute little, let me show you, stamp cube things like this. And it's, I think it's so easy to just do it here. And I need to, you can buy like non-colored ones, like you get five of them for so much money, and then um, put the ink on here. Oh my God. Rather than taking this big, big thing to do this big stamp, I think it'd be easier to do this little one. Anyways, okay, let's try this again. And okay. Ah, it's not getting the color on the on the pen in the middle part. Oh, well, there you go. The more that I press, the color is starting to get on there now. Hmm, I think I need to do it one more time, but more in the middle, seeing how it's not getting in the color in the middle. So, let me just get the... better okay looks good now I take my chamois and clean it off you can tell the chamois has gone through a lot yeah but you don't really have to replace this I mean you can if you want it to look pretty but and I have a new one I just haven't broken it out yet too so clean that up it's so noisy and now I'm going to go ahead and take the stamp. Otherwise, if I don't put this away right away, it's going to be a hot mess for me. Okay. Let's put this away. And um, let's take that there. Remove this. My stamp right this way. I'm not going to need it anymore. Okay. And now I'm going to get my paper trimmer. Okay. Now, let's see here. This is going to be, I'm going to cut it to be a five by it's five and three and three fourths. Yeah. So five. So it's gonna be five right here. 
And look at it, you might want to just clean it up just a little bit. So in this case, I, you, know, you could see it didn't overlap all the way. So I'm going to just clean it up a little. Take that off. And I'm just going to Okay. Oh, let me clean it up over here too. What I'm doing is I'm just cutting out the ends. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and do um, five. So five inches this way by three and three fourths. So this is three and three fourths right here. Now I'm going to take the balmy blue, and the balmy blue is four and one eighth. Oops, so this is four and one eighth. Oh, hmm, don't tell me it's already that size. And then five and three eighths, so five, three eighths, that's one, two, three. Okay. garbage out of the way because I'm going to be a hot mess again if I don't. Okay. And now I'm going to put this off to the side. And I'm going to um, let's see here. I like the Tombow glue because I think I had mentioned this before it's just way more forgiving and you know it doesn't like like lock in and just stay there like can I put that right in the middle and cut my base and this is an eight and a half by eleven basic white right and so I'm gonna go ahead and cut it um, I think I have it folding that way so I'm gonna cut this in half this is eleven so half of that is five and a half so I'll go ahead and cut that and then I'll go ahead and score it at Four and a quarter because it's eight and a half, and then eight and a half, half of that is four and a quarter. There we go. This way. And then I'll take my bone folder to just make that a nice crease. There's a technical word for what I'm doing, and I don't know what it is. I'm going to have to try to figure out what that is. I think it's called varnish. I'm not sure, but I think it is. So, um, before I go and I, before I put this on here, I'm going to make the happy birthday. So, I'm going to put this off to the side and grab... Um, some of that midnight. Where did I put that? Oh no. What did I do with it? What did I do with it? Oh, this is not good. What did I do with it? So 
Sorry about this. Hmm. Mm. Okay, here we go. So I take this, and I think what I did was, uh, yeah, I stamped it first. So I'm gonna take this stamp out. Now I, I embossed it. I, I like embossing. I, 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 I don't know why, but I think it's very, very fun to emboss. I like what happens. Like it turns, it's like dull one minute, and then when you heat it up, it's super um, shiny. Okay, so oh, it's it's white. So um, you take the Versa mark. So this is like a really sticky, clear. I don't know adhesive or not adhesive ink, right? And you go ahead and you put that on. My happy birthday now. You need to put, you need to take this little powder thing and put it on the paper. And what that does is it prevents the powder, uh, the embossing powder to stick where it's not supposed to stick. It's going to stick where this clear ink is. Okay. So I go ahead and I Put that here. Voila. And I take my white embossing powder. And I go ahead and I and this is another thing. This is fun too. When you oops. I take this um, cut and emboss. This is a mini cut and emboss machine. I love this. That's the mini. Oh, whoops, sorry. Mini stamp and emboss machine. Love it. This, this is so teeny tiny. And so now you have to use these plates. They're small, fits perfectly. Um, it tells you what plates to use for, for what. So let's, I'm using the uh, stitched rectangle dies. And then you go ahead, oh, shoot, poop. I messed it up. I forgot to heat it up. So excited to use this and I forgot. So let's let's do this again. Um, 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 um. This is what I do when I mess up like this. Take the white. I I messed it up. It's all smeared. You can't I don't know if you can see that, but so what I do is I just do that, take it off with a brush. Okay, and I, I'll just use the other side. That's a great part, like if when you make a mistake, <laughs> you could just use the other side. Use the little powder bag. 
Okay. And stamp, stamp, stamp. Perfect. Yep. Okay, close this up so it doesn't dry out. Okay. Now, oops, see? I dropped the gun and pulling out my my machine here. Okay. Now, I'm going to take your heating tool, set this up. And it just sort of makes the sentiment pop. Make sure that you get it all because there's times where I've done it and I think, oh, okay, it's completely, you know, melted. But really, part of the powder has not. And you just have to, like, pie it, like, turn it to the side or something just to make sure it looks shiny. This thing's really hot. I've burned myself on this thing. Okay. Okay, so you take your machine, put your plates down. And then take your die. Dry now and put it uh, set, try to center as best as you can. You know, I like to use this tape, although you know, some people have been using. No, I don't want to use that. I will use this. The bad part about this tape is that it has a tendency to rip my paper. But what I've done is just put it right on the edge. So at least it's just holding it in place. And I'm trying to get, sorry if you see my head popping in there. It's really hard at the angle that I'm at to, to see what I'm doing. Great. There we go. And then I take the other plate, put it down, and I run it through. And there we go. And then I take it off, push it out, and put this off to the side here. Put this away. this up because it's not good if I drop it or spill it. Okay, and now, hmm, where'd the card go? Oh my gosh, see what happens when it, oh, here it is. So, I will go ahead and take dimensionals now, and I will put it on I always like to put one in the middle. I just, I think it adds support. Okay, and then I put this in the middle right here. And now I take the, the big.
base. I'm going to take some Tombow glue. make sure that it's the right way because I've done that before and it's like upside down or whatever and that's not cool. There. Beautiful. Happy birthday. Oops, it's a little crooked, but it's okay. <laughs> so anyways, there's a happy birthday. Now, you could, this is so simple, and you could use different colors. And so I made one also as a thank you. So I did one as a thank you. This one I used the um, Pale Papaya and Pear Pizzazz. And, and then I used a different sentiment. Thank you. I used the Punch. The, what is it called? I used the Taylor Tag Punch and then the Peaceful Moments stamp set. So I used this punch I use this punch right here, and I use this stamp set for the sentiment. There's a lot of good sentiments on here, so I use this for the thank you. And yeah, it's it's, it's so it's so easy. If you need to make a quick card, this is this is what you do. Just super simple. Um, Anyways, if I hope you enjoyed uh, my card and hope you, it inspired you to um, make s something like this. It's just so simple. Um, if you, I, I don't have my host code, but it'll be on the posting. I'll, I'll post my live here in a little bit. Um, and I'll show you, if you go ahead and purchase $50 or more, um, using the host code for this month, I will send you a thank you. And I will send you a thank you, um, which is going to be a retired stamp set or a stamp uh, or a bundle. Um, but um, yeah, if, if you go ahead and order $50 or more, I will go ahead and, and send you a retired stamp set um, as a thank you because I really appreciate it if you, if you would purchase it. So on my, um, on my blog, I will get that out later on, probably by tomorrow. And you can go ahead and go to my, um, Stampin' Up! website to, to see all of the items that I use to create these cards. And let's see if you could just share I would really love it if you shared my video and um, let everybody know that I'm here to to show them all all the different things you can um, do with Stampin' Up. I love it. It's like I said, they are a company that's just so great. You know, everything coordinates. They really help you. Um, all of the items that they have um, are coordinated and they, I mean... You can just, they have coordinating pens and ink pads and paper so that you don't have to think about what matches um, because they'll tell you what matches. And I like that. I mean, you could mix it up too. You don't really have to go with what they have, but, um, but, but they, they also help you if you, if you're like me, I'm not so creative, um, but you know, but being, working with Stampin' Up! has made me become more creative. I don't know if that makes sense, but it does to me. So, anyways, I appreciate your time. I'm so glad you're able to spend time with me. And so, I look forward to seeing you um, next week. Thank you. Bye.